sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. All right, welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. New York and late, so it's time to clock in. We are currently in San Antonio. Everything's bigger in Texas. They call it the Lone Star State. And speaking of Lone Stars, I got the Lone Star of his very own podcast. Wow. George Janko, AKA the Ops. Well done. You didn't even invite me, bro, to, the, to be on your show. I could have done but your first defense, episode. Bro, I thought you were, yeah, Logan's so good. He's such a workhorse. He's a total workhorse. <laughs> Right, Logan? Sure! <laughs> Bro, I was watching that video, I was biting my nails, I was like, oh, please don't let me be in this video, please don't let me be in. Why did they come at your ears, bro? You have some normal ears. It was the one thing I said about the video, if you were gonna make something giant on me, it would be my nose. But other than that, it was perfect. <laughs> it's like an honor to get roasted by them. No, 100%. <laughs> Logan Paul, he's wrestling again, his knees healed enough. Here's the problem, we can't be seen here until he does Royal Rumble, which is tomorrow night. Like, we have to maintain- Why do you guys give me this information now? Yes. We really need to actually stay hidden. So I have an idea. Dude, I we pulled out of the parking lot and there's already a video of us shooting that video, which was right there. Like, I can still see it. And the only concern of mine in the whole thing is let's make sure no one knows we're in San Antonio. I got a dilemma for you. Okay. We're uh, some city slickers. I'm okay. sure you guys get a bunch of them in here, right? A couple, yeah. We need to conceal our identity. And the last thing that anyone would expect us to be dressed up as down here would be Cowboys, Cowboys. Yeah. yeah. All right, you need a bit of everything right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, no. you don't think this no, is going to no, do it? No, I got you. <laughs> this is not going to work. I don't know. Do I dress like a homeless person, like a vagabond? Yes. You just figured this out? <laughs> Is it? It's like you dress like a homeless guy that robbed somebody rich and you're just <laughs> holding his bags. <laughs> what pattern would a would a standard Texan usually wear? Imagine I wanted to walk into the Bank of America and you know yeah, take you the place down, if you know what I mean. No, I'm not gonna do that, of <laughs> no, course, no, but yeah, yeah. if I wanted to, I would want people to let me in and say, he must be using his checking account. What are some uh, cowboy things that I could say to make me fit in more? I mean, darling is always darling, a- yeah, perfect, darling, okay, yeah. I know that, that one would be for sure. respectful and greeting a lady, take off your hat completely yeah. and either do the shake or you do your hug. Howdy, darling. You can do howdy, darling. Howdy, darling. Yeah. You ain't seen any city slickers around here? Because I ain't one of them. You got the action. You got it right, yeah. I ain't seen a city slicker around here in ages. I've been down here in uh, San Antonio for a couple months now and working on the ranch with my pa. Well, like my pa that, started yeah. an oil company, Canoco. Oh, yeah, Son, oh, yeah, Son yeah. Oco. Yeah. Hey, uh, thanks a lot, brother. You take uh, cash? I take cash or cattle heads, yeah. I got both. And now a word from our sponsors. I'm sure if you saw us riding our bikes down your street, you'd probably be thinking to yourself, wow, these guys are the epitome of peak physical fitness. And you wouldn't be wrong, but that doesn't mean we can't also use a little help from our friends over at Blue Chew. I personally never had one. Well, it's funny you say that because you could get Blue Chew for yourself by simply filling out a questionnaire on their website and it ships to your door in discreet packaging. No way. So no embarrassing pharmacy visits where they have to do a... Uh, Oh, a price check on this. Exactly. That would be so embarrassing. Exactly. You could skip all that and you could do it right online. And the good thing is it comes in this slim packaging so you can keep it in your water bottle or your back bib pocket and go to town. Damn it, my gears are all messed up. I can fix that for you. Well, now they're going just fine. If you want to get that stick out of your spokes, you can get Blue Chew too, and it will change your life the same way that it changed ours. That's right, one month absolutely free over at the link in the description below. Use code NIGHTSHIFT, and you won't have to pay for anything, and you'll be two-wheeling out of here in no time. Click the link, let's get back to the night shift, baby. Fuck up. <laughs> Why do you still have that cowboy hat on, bro? It was like 18 hours ago. Give it a rest. Bro. Listen, bro, I've been through the mill. I ain't gonna play second fiddle to oh you. Oh my god. <laughs> Ow! If you're a Postmates driver, please start adding ketchup or barbecue. Do you have any idea how humiliating it is to eat McDonald's dry in a dark room? I feel poor. Why are you reading the Jewish family Bible if you're a Christian. Mike doesn't know the family tree of Jesus. He's a messianic Jew, bro, so I'm reading it in his language. You read Hebrew? It's not in Hebrew, man. You just don't know how to read. Other than reading the Bible, I know one other thing you're doing right now, because I hear it. You're watching The Sopranos, buddy. Uh -huh. No, no, I'm this no, no, is serious. No, no, I don't like no, anything no, about no, this. It's really good There's if you say no it. no way it. I'm in a cowboy hat sitting next to you naked in a cowboy hat. What if I do this? I know you're gonna ride a boat. 
I honestly was on board until you said whatever that was. <laughs> that was. I don't watch a lot of television shows, but right now I'm watching a show called The Last of Us on HBO. By the time you watch this, there's three episodes out, so you can get caught up as of like immediately. Just go binge it. But I just want to say this really quick. If you haven't seen The Sopranos, please watch The Sopranos. I don't care how old you are. It is the greatest television show in the history of the world. If you want to argue Breaking Bad, that's fine. You need to see that too. You need to see The Wire. Those are probably the three shows that I would say that you have to see. You know that whole gangster life so it doesn't exist anymore. Right. Now we watch euphoria because everyone's oh euphoria is yeah drugs, drugs. And... yeah gangsters aren't cool anymore now it's cool to be a, a gender neutral fucking drug addict <laughs> 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 what up how you doing bro good to doing see you good, man doing good leave the fucking bystanders alone bro all right god dang bro it was almost payback time bro that was my one chance dude yo we're gonna go out and watch the event yeah. Hey, by the way, you haven't been on the show in a couple of months. Where you been? Everything all right? I'm taking a 90 day break. That's what Patrick Bet David wanted. You I know, to do. and he's he's right, bro. I need to take a break. 90 days. It starts right now. Oh, Are you out of your mind? You just I didn't fucking touched a sweaty wrestler's arm. Don't don't done. get mad at me for your silly mistake. You look different. Are you thinner? Did you thin out? You have probably haven't been eating with all that's going on. What's changed? Um, well, you had told me a while back that you. Mental health wasn't good. The internet's been everything's been messing with you and stuff. You want, so you want to do this right now? I'm trying to do it. <laughs> Get the fuck out, bro. I'm trying to put together a narrative here, bro, about how you're oh, suffering you're as a person. <laughs> Earlier yesterday, you said put the camera down, be my friend, and I did that yesterday. But today, it's back to YouTube. So <laughs> hey, best of luck to you, bro. And uh, if you get any trouble. I'll be right in the audience. Those Usos give you any shit, let me know. I'm right here <laughs> okay, to handle the job once again. I believe in you, buddy. Thanks, man. Uh, you know what this one guy said um, at Sundance? He walked past this pedestrian. He's like, grow up. He said, grow up. He got up. really mad about that. I don't what think Mike should ever what grow up. Wait, what did he I say? don't think he should he said, ever grow up. Grow. Growing up is fucking whack. And you're funny, Mike. Are you okay? Where's his shoe? That was way worse than those pussy Uso brothers. <laughs> okay. I'll see you out there, man. Shit. Let me know if you need any help. You may be asking yourself, Mike, where'd you get that shirt from? Well, there's a lot more info coming about that very soon. Yo, that's what I do when I take my test in the morning. I didn't know he was gonna be here. I was just at Royal Rumble. <laughs> Texas got a lot of burger options. You got people talking about Freddy's, of course, Whataburger, which we won't be eating again on this channel. You guys know that I love Smash Burgers, right? And there's this place in San Antonio called Last Place Burgers. It's like a pop-up, and he doesn't open very often. Now the real San Antonio, San Antonio, San Antonio, San Antonio, San Antonio, San Antonio. The real San Antonians know that this is the shit, this is the spot. He opened the truck just for us, Mike Malak. Mark, Villarreal, really good to good, meet you, man. Good to meet you, George brother. Pleasure. Nice to Mark. Meet you. He does have a reputation of pissing a lot of chefs off, and actually, oh, no. one okay. of them came to our hotel to beat him up. Yes. I will. <laughs> no, this is a true story. <laughs> You're about to see how a smash burger looks before it gets on the bun. Some people use actual construction tools for this. I think he, and so, so it's parchment paper. He's using just a big spatula and a, and a uh, it's just a, it's like a steak press, really. A steak press. See how it gets real thin? Watching what he has going on in this truck, my brain's already cooking, and I feel like potentially something might happen right now. Do you know what I'm saying? No, no, not at all. Do you have anything go that goes on in your head at all, or is it just like a pin, like a, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's exactly what I figured. This man uses 100% American Wagyu from Peeler Farms. Texas, maybe. Oh, well, I'm a cry. I'm a cry. Double smash patty, 100% American Wagyu, three house pickles, ketchup, mustard, two slices of American cheese on this beautiful sweet bun. Just from an outside look into it, it looks phenomenal. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. No, bro, this is crazy. Okay, so, mm -hmm. so when I do these, what I'm looking for is a certain concoction to cr be created in my mouth. Grease from the burger, the butter to all mix together in my mouth and the cheese to create like a beauty in my mouth. And this is, it, it is 
Oh my phenomenal. god. Phenomenal. It is phenomenal, bro. I already know it's going up to the top. I already know that. Now it's just a matter of where it's gonna fall. I'm gonna, I'm gonna worry about that on bite two. What am I working with here? What are these? These are like a... What's that, a burger? Just a straight cut fry with what's the seasoning? That's the secret. Oh my god, come on! I mean, this is, this is it. This could be it right here. Fuck. I can't believe this shit. I can't believe this shit. Last place burgers. We tried. We try. At least we tried. Basically, the exact opposite. This has to be your number one, bro. If it's not, you're lying. You're a liar. There is nothing, not a single thing that can be changed about that burger. I can't believe I'm fucking saying this, bro. Last place burger. <laughs> Last place burger. It's now first place no on the way. burger. I swear to God, bro. 9.7. No 9. way. 7, I got bro. goosebumps, bro. That's crazy, bro. You are a fucking magician, bro. You are a fucking so. magician. You got to make sure you keep making like that, bro. That's the whole thing is that the consistency is is the number one thing. David, am I right? Am I right? We don't need a showdown. This is number one. Okay, so David's saying no questions <laughs> asked. There's nothing else to say on this episode, but, but this is the best burger I've ever had in my entire fucking life. You have cash on you? We're ordering another one. That's it for a very Texas, very big episode of the Night Shift. Thank you so much for working late with us. We're clocking out. Peace. Guys, this is a very real, like, after credits. I just want to say this. You obviously just witness history, you know, you just saw somebody take over the number one spot. I talked with him for about 15 minutes after the after we stopped rolling. Everything, the pickles, he makes the pickles himself. He gets the buns from a bakery here in, in San Antonio. Everything about that burger was just about perfect. My question to him was, can this be scaled? Is this scalable? Because it's like, yo, he probably picked up 20 of those bakery fresh buns. The pickles were made by him, jarred himself like, that was like a, a, a curated level of perfection. So I want to say this, he's opening his location at, a, at a, a brewery down here. I'm going to drop all the details in the description below. So if you guys end up in San Antonio, go try the burger. But let's see what happens. It, it really was the best burger I've ever had in my life. It's always the underdogs, but that gets you. God bless, brother. I am her. What? You are her in TikTok <laughs> terms. No. She's her, dude. No, no, Open yeah. your mouth. It's hot. Be careful. Oh, oh, you oh, bit oh. my finger, bro. This is not this? blending in. That's not what the average Texanian is. Yes, it is. That's the difference. Yes, it is. Do you want to have an argument with me about Texans? Guys. That guy is from, that guy is from Minnesota. Sneaky, sneaky, Logan. Sneaky. Can I, uh, can I flip it once for you? Nah, 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 nah. Say hi to my girlfriend. Hey Mike, it's my girlfriend. Wait, no. That can't be right. Bell, 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 me, Bell, Bell, Bell. me, you and Your room always smells, George. Also, can I just get like a hat? I don't really feel like wearing the boots and the no, you have to do the whole thing. Okay, I'll do the whole thing. Yeah.